Hey guys, welcome back to the pet room. Today is piggy weigh day, so I will be making a video showing you how to weigh the piggies and so you can see approximately how much piggies can weigh. Um, I am using today my handy dandy tripod to make this video since there's no way I can hold the pig and weigh the pig at the same time and film a video. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I have the scale all set up and everything, and I have my notebook there in the corner to record the weights. So let's get started and record the weight of the first pig, which is the Barbok. Alright, buddy. Don't move, don't move. <laughs> his hair's all pushed over. So his weight for this week is. 1.207 kilograms. Alright, and Barbok is gonna say bye to the camera. Say bye! Okay, now we will proceed to the Shinobi. Let's go ahead and put him on the scale. Don't move, buddy. Don't move, buddy. Alright, it says 1.053 kilograms, just about. All right, you're done for this week, buddy. Say bye to the camera. Oh. All right, so let's move on to cage number two with pig number three, which is Nimbus. Let me just calibrate this, okay? Get in the bowl, buddy. Stay still. It says 1.10, one honey don't move, don't move, about 1.105 I'm going to say, and there he is teeth chattering at you, 1.105 kilograms, say bye to the camera Nimbus. Okay, and now we'll, we'll move on to the final pig, which is Aries. All right, buddy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so he's 1.071 kilograms. See how he fills all that up? That's why I thought he was the biggest pig when he's actually not. So... That's why weighing is good, because you can actually get an idea of how much they weigh instead of relying on how big they look. All right, buddy, you're done. We can put you back in the cage. Say bye to the camera. Aw, look at that cute face. So while I weigh the pigs, I definitely do keep a record of their weights. So I just take a little notepad and I record all their weights. So I just have a little table here with their names and the date that I took the weight and then the corresponding weights. These were the weights for last week. As you can see, um, Aries was actually the lightest pig and Barbuck was the biggest pig with a weight of 1.167 kilograms. And these are the weights for this week. So it looks like most of them have gained a little weight, except Shinobi, who lost just a little bit of grams there. But it's still, it's not enough to be alarmed. It's perfectly fine. They will go up and down every week. Barbok is still the most huge pig, with weighing 1.207 kilograms. And this week, Shinobi is actually the smallest pig with the weight of 1.053 kilograms. So there you have it. Um, in case you guys are more familiar with pounds, I actually do have the conversion to pounds down below. And here it is. So I just had the same table as above, but in pounds, with the names of everybody and the weight in pounds. So Barbok actually weighs this week 2.66 pounds, Shinobi weighs 2.32 pounds, Aries weighs 2.44 pounds, and Nimbus 2.43 pounds. So it looks like these two guys are 
kind of fighting each other to see who's bigger than the other. So yeah, I like keeping them in a table like this, which with the dates side by side, so I can see side by side how much they weigh and see if they've lost any significant amount of weight. And yes, I definitely have to weigh Teasel because every time she wakes up it's about 10 p.m. and I just forget to wear. So I have to stop slacking about that and actually get her weighed. Alright, so that's it for this video, I guess. Thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful for you to see how much my pigs weigh so you can get an idea of what normal weights are for piggies. Um, all of my piggies are between 2.3 to 2.6 pound range, so I think that, that that's definitely a good weight for them. Um, again, I just weigh them to get an idea of like how much weight they're losing or gaining in a week and if they lose too much then it's definitely an indication of some sort of illness. Oh, and in case anybody was wondering about the tripod that I used to make this video, I guess I can show it to you now since I have it right here next to me still. So this is what it looks like. Let me go over here to this direction. As you can see, it's pretty huge. It's big enough to film in the tallest cage, which is great. Um, and I actually got it for pretty cheap because there's just been a few occasions where I've been like, man, I really wish I had a tripod right now. But all the ones I had seen were over a hundred dollars, which is way too much for just wanting one to use on several occasions. So I found this one on Amazon.com for uh, I think it was $18, which is a pretty sweet deal, and I definitely have no complaints about it. So, as you can see, it's pretty huge. There you go, and the brand is Vista Explorer. And over here is just where you mount the camera. The camera has a little hole underneath and you just screw it onto here, and then you can move it in any direction, side to side, down, Yep, and it also has a little like indicator there so you can see um, if it's on a stable surface or not, which is really nice. And goes all the way to down there. And once you pack it up, it actually gets pretty small. You can put it into this little bag, which is really nice since it doesn't take much space anywhere. So what you do is it has these little leg things here, so you just open all of these and then push it down and it packs up really nicely, which is really good. And I also have the box here that it came in, in case you want to take a look and you're interested. It's the Vista Explorer tripod, and it just shows a picture there. And it's 60 inches, which is pretty big, and it's lightweight as well. It doesn't weigh much at all, which is nice. And apparently it also has a 10-year warranty, which is pretty neat. So, yeah, definitely go check it out if you're interested in one. Um, here it just has the weight, 3 pounds. Maximum load, 4 pounds. And the minimum height is 22 inches and the folded length as well, 23 inches, and the maximum height, which is at what I have it right now, which is 60 inches. So yeah, I hope this was useful. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I decided to show a sleeping Nimbus because he looks so cute and so carefree while he's sleeping. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't know when I'll have a chance to upload this since I have to edit it and it takes a while. So it may not be until later in the week when you actually get to see this video. But yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to, you to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!